Hi, Kirsty. Hi. How are, How are you? you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How are you and the uh, the studio? Yeah, I'm good. Um, studio's good. It's helping me train at home at least, but um, I have no internet signal in there, so we're in the office today. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's going all right. Yeah, because your industry, uh, for those who don't know, Kirsty, you'll have seen uh, Kirsty Walker, personal trainer, uh, on our pages that we share with with all the time. Uh, you're based in in Kipax, and you've got a home studio. Is that right? Yeah, I've got a little um, studio with gym equipment in. So we've got like cable machines, leg like press, all the stuff that you would find in like the normal gym. Um, so it's good where it's where I do my one to one clients i have groups we can do boxing yeah um all that kind of stuff but just in like a more private environment so yeah, it's more of a personal a feel really it. isn't it yeah i like yeah. it i mean I'm, I'm gonna put pictures at the end of this video so people can see the studio but it's got everything in like a normal a normal studio would but i just feel it's quite nice for them people that perhaps don't want to go to a big gym but still have all that equipment to be able to train properly and now you've got stuff outside as well them big massive ropes <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we've got some functional stuff too i've got a tractor tire some ropes yeah. um just to keep it interesting um but yeah it just helps people build up a confidence of using gym equipment that's true so then if they've never done it before and then they can go to a gym and know what to do with a cable machine or yeah you know just feel a bit more like they they belong there and how long so have you been personal the training then in, in uh, your studio? Um, so altogether I've been training like about nine years or just over. Right. But um, I used to work in a gym. I've done mobile personal training. So for those people that don't have time to go out to a gym, they might have kids or really ill, um, then I used to go to their houses too. Right. And then I got the studio built about four years ago. So I've been in there about four years now. And you have such a mix of clients as well, don't you, that I've seen online? Yeah, definitely. Um, males and females, I have clients who want to lose weight or body fat um, for weddings or holidays. Or um, I have males sometimes that want to put size on, so they want to increase yeah. muscle, um, which is always nice because it gives me a bit of a different program to try and do. Yeah. Um, keep things interesting for me and fitness so like people want to run marathons or just generally but like people with diabetes who wants to reverse it I've worked right. with all all types of people so lots of different goals really isn't there <laughs> huge yeah. amount of goals but obviously <laughs> since this lovely lockdown that we've had it's changed for so many businesses and so many industries and how has it how has it impacted you because I feel for a couple of weeks it may have taken some time to sink in about how are your type of business and your industry of fitness and exercise going to diversify or change a little bit? Definitely. Um, yeah, for a few weeks it was like, what on earth are we going to do? But I'm pretty sure everyone out there was the same in all businesses. But um, yeah, so we just moved online. Most of our clients have done Zoom sessions. So we do the same stuff, but with whatever equipment they've got, even if it's just body weight, we can use some tins of beans or whatever. Um, yeah. And it just kind of keeps them on track. Uh, and people who do it, like my group sessions, boxing, we can't obviously do that over Zoom, but we'll just put them on hold until after. Yeah. But people, um, they can still check in with me. So send me food diaries, send me the weight. If they've got some scales at home, message me if they're struggling. Yeah. So even if I'm not carrying on with the one-to-one -one sessions, I'm still there to support them or to keep yeah. them on track or wherever it is that the goals are. And I suppose also not just from a physical uh, point of view, but also I would think from a mental point of view, keeping people going. Because for them, just like you, if they'd been with you for a long time, all of a sudden their training probably felt, oh, it's over. What do I do now? So still being able to be in contact with you, whether they're an existing client or a new client, is really good for, for mental health as well. I, I bet you see seeing. Definitely. And especially with the, um, the Zoom sessions, because right at the beginning when we were all kind of like not sure how it's going to play out or like hmm, can we still train face to face or you know when Boris hadn't quite set down some rules yeah. but everyone was like well I, I definitely need to, to see you off but I need to do it online at least because 
you know, it's someone that I'm going to see like that week because obviously if people don't have anyone at home or they just they can't go out and see family or yeah. you're not meant to be seeing people, they're like, you're someone that I can look forward to doing something with. So yeah, even, yeah, like you said, for mental, mental health yeah. um, purposes, it's definitely worked well. And the longer it goes on, the more, uh, well, it has to be like that now because we just don't know when that that's going to be over. So I say for physical and mental, that's more important now than ever, I suspect, just to be able to just keep some some kind of normal going as well. You know, still being able to go out for that session, I can take half an hour, an hour and just do my thing for me and come away feeling, oh, actually, I feel quite good about myself now because I've still done a part of what I've always done. Exactly, yeah, routine is the biggest thing yeah. because if we just stopped everything, getting back to normal life as it was before, it'd be just even harder. So yeah, yeah definitely yeah. helps people. So what can you offer if, say, a, a new client, because obviously you're on social media and we share you all the time on uh, Instagram and Facebook. What can uh, you offer to other clients, new clients, if they want to get in contact with you about doing some exercise at home? Well, currently we can do the online, so we could set up um, a, like a Zoom consultation where we can go through questions and goals that they've got, any health issues, um, and we could do some one-to-one -one sessions online. But if not, you could always pre-book um, some space in my diary for whenever we are allowed to face-to-face -to -face again. Yeah. Um, if you'd prefer that, then, then going online. Um, and I can help with like nutrition, um, even if it's not the training part of it, we can look at diet and get that under control, um, if that's more important to you right now. I think it is um, for a lot of people, can't they? Because we're all, we don't need to social distance ourselves from the fridge, because that doesn't seem to be the problem at the minute. <laughs> and we need to sort of look up, you know, it's it's getting back hopefully to sort of some kind of norm, sort of normal soon. It's like people are like, oh, Am I going to be able to get back out of the house after being too close to the fridge? <laughs> so probably doing that now for the nutritional value alone would be really good. Definitely, yeah. Um, I would say if you do want to look at that, if you don't want to go too deep into it, you can just do simple things like not buying the stuffing in the first place. Yeah. You could do food swaps. So instead of full fat cup, you have diet coke or like Ben and Jerry's ice cream, swap it for the low calorie halo top ones. You yeah. know, just simple things where you can just cut so many calories. Um, and if you want to look into it more detail, I get my clients to do like a food diary. So I would write down what you're eating for a few days and drink it, whether it's wine or water or anything. Yeah. Um, and you kind of can see what, uh, what kind of habits you're in. Yeah. And what are the things that you need to kind of look at breaking? Yeah. And also we've, we've probably created new habits for ourselves because we're not, we're doing things differently. So it's maybe having you as some help to get us, to get us out that and just sort of change a little bit really, uh, which would be good for many. So how can they get in contact? We've mentioned Facebook and Instagram. How else can uh, people get in contact with you? Yep, so um, Facebook and Instagram are the, the main ones. I mean, Facebook, you can send me a message on there. Um, my phone number should be on there as well. Um, yeah. So I'm on WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, if you want to do that, I do have a website as well, which um, I can we can put like a link to, um, yeah. and I'll put it on my Facebook page as well. Yeah. But probably um, Facebook and um, phone, WhatsApp message are the easiest ways that I just see like all the time yeah straight away yeah right, well I hope people do get in contact with you even just for a little natter to see you know how they can use you if not now using this online system but also in the future like getting some dates in the diary and just sort of getting their physical health back to what it was <laughs> beforehand yeah exactly and um, if you don't already then just follow my um, Facebook page especially because I put so much content on there, not just yeah. like basic workouts, but just nutritional advice, and motivational stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Next week, I've got some corrective exercises. So if you've been working out at home and you're doing your squats wrong or you don't know if you're doing lunges right, yeah. I put some common things on there next week. So if you keep an eye on that as well. Yeah. There's just so much like content on there for educational purposes because 
I don't believe in just like giving you a random plan. Like it's all part of a package and you've got to understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. And you've got to look at the nutrition side. Yeah. So it's kind of like a whole package. So if you follow my Facebook page um, and like it, then yeah, there's loads of content on there that'll keep you going, hopefully. There is some really good stuff actually because I've been noticing lots of, obviously I share it, but lots of stuff that you have been sharing for people which has been great and also I've noticed you've been doing lots of partner work with your partner as well, but because you've got to keep yourself fit as well. (laughs) Yep, yeah, I've got no excuse as well and I've got a gym in the back garden, so (laughs) I've got to rope him in to help me out. (laughs) Come on, I need to keep fit too. It's been great to talk to you, Kirsty. Uh, and I say people can get in contact with you in lots of ways. So we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Yep, see you Take later. Care. Bye. Bye. Bye.